Hello, this is Philippa Gregory. The story of the White Princess takes up really where the White Queen leaves off. And it's the story of Princess Elizabeth York, the famously beautiful daughter of the White Queen. At the Battle of Bosworth, it's not just a decision time for England, it's for Elizabeth as well, because the man she loves, King Richard III, goes out to do battle, and the man who she regards as her enemy, Henry Tudor, takes the crown of England. There is a big gap between the White Queen publication and the White Princess. I finished The White Queen, I wanted to write the novel of The White Princess straight away, but I became very interested in Margaret Beaufort. So I wanted to write The Red Queen, which naturally is, is about the same time as Elizabeth Woodville's story, so it made sense that they came together. Then I realised how important Anne Neville and indeed Isabella was going to be, so I really wanted to write The Kingmaker's Daughter. So I did that, and only now have I really worked through that, enough of that history to feel that it's time for me to write The White Princess. But it's been, actually, it was quite a relief to come to it at last. I've been wanting to write it for years. I think one of the interesting things about hearing a novel rather than reading it is that in a way one goes back almost an evolutionary stage in terms of storytelling. Of course there was a time when only uh, stories were told from one person to another and of course all of us in, in our own childhood will, will I hope have been lucky enough to have had stories read to us or stories told to us and there's something very primitive in hearing a voice telling you a story rather than reading it yourself. I really love writing from the perspective of a woman. I think as a woman myself, I have an understanding of how women think. But also I'm a feminist and a, a, a women's historian. And I think that the voice of women have been very much neglected through history. And it's very interesting to look at the historical facts from their perspective and see what understanding you can make of the historical events if you allow for the fact that women are active, powerful, determined, ambitious, and doing things throughout this period. When you see that, you see that a number of the conspiracies and the rebellions which have been deliberately suppressed are actually often powered by women.